Now, you heard of fake news uh, this morning. Um, we're talking hidden news. Uh, the new combined authority for Camish and Peterborough was finally signed off yesterday by the government ahead of May's election of this new county-wide mayor. You may have seen uh, the photos that some of the candidates are posing for around the county at the moment. They're all on Twitter and Facebook and they're all shaking hands and practising their smiles. Hello, got the gear, got the gear. Uh, well, we can now reveal that uh, government ministers left out a key statistic from a consultation poll from their final report. And the accusation is they hid the news because it didn't support their argument for devolution. Now, an online poll revealed that 59% of you guys in Cambridgeshire were against having an elected mayor. But ministers instead decided to focus on the 47% who were opposed to transfer powers to a new combined authority. Now, ministers claim that the stat was omitted from the final report because of an error which occurred during the drafting. But Labour's Lord Beecham scoffed at that suggestion, describing the process as disgraceful. So have we all been a bit hoodwinked here? Have we all been a bit ignored? Do you understand what the mayor will do? Do you even want it? Well, Ed Murphy is a Labour councillor in Peter. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Paul. Have we been hoodwinked purposely here? Yes, we have. Um, people of Cambridgeshire don't want an elected mayor. That's quite clear. And the majority online poll voted against having an elected mayor when they were consulted about it. They weren't then consulted about the removal of powers from Peterborough and Cambridgeshire. Didn't even get asked about that. The removal of powers? Well, no, no. The, the, the powers from government coming to the mayor, isn't it? Yeah, originally, that's what we were told and that's what we were consulted upon. But at the last week, we were then told that they were going to take away the transport and other powers from Cambridgeshire and Peterborough and give them to the elected mayor's office. Right. So it's, it's not sort of devolution, really. Then it's... Uh just another layer of government, isn't there it? There are people as well predicting that next year social care and health may be going to this elected mayor position as well, but we don't know on that one yet. Yeah, I mean, I have to point to the other poll because um, the, it's a little confusing, but the online poll was ignored. But there, there was a, a phone poll which, which claimed that 57% uh, uh, of people actually wanted this mayor. The, the organisations that wanted um, the, the elected mayor and the combined authority commissioned Morrie to do a, a, a phone poll for them. Yeah, I'm, I'm you do that. You employ consultants to get the answer you want. Yes, yeah. of course. Uh, the, the government says that the online polls aren't very reliable, though, not representative. Uh, they may not be, but it's the only thing we had where people were able to express their opinion, and then they changed the rules. I think Lord Beecham and many of the Lords were indicating this smelt of last week's fish. They actually had quite a debate upon it this month, and they... They actually pointed out that what's called the Secondary Legislative Scrutiny Committee wasn't given the facts. Um, there was an error, and they hadn't pointed out that two-thirds of people on the online poll said they didn't want an elected mayor. Anyway, we've got elections in eight weeks' time. Mm. I wonder how many people will be voted. I think the BBC will do more to get people interested than anybody else. Is this just a bit of sour grapes from you, Ed? Because you wanted to be Labour's candidate, didn't you? <laughs> the... the, the Comments I'm making are about what's come out in Hansard this week. Um, again, you know, we sometimes have elections that we don't think should exist, but you have to get in there and bat for your corner and bat for Peterborough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The news at the moment is that the House of Lords have exposed these errors, and it does need to be looked into. Mm, is this a, is a good example of why the public have such apathy with local politics, isn't it? The, 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 you know, they're going to feel that they've, they've took part in a poll and they've not been listened to. Yeah, it does get very remote. I mean, one of the things that was striking to me, I looked up, and we, we've got 360 paid councillors in Cambridgeshire. Um, we've got one paid councillor for every three or four police officers. I think we've got too, far too many people getting paid to do things that they're no longer responsible for. Councils don't do what they used to do. Um, you've had Charlie Swift on this show many, many times. times yes. And he's right. You know, the council in Peterborough used to have 17,000 council homes. It used to employ street cleaners. It used to do stuff. Now it doesn't. So if we're getting a mayor, let's get rid of councillors. Well, we, we seem to have an awful lot of paid uh, politicians at the moment. A police commissioner, when he was elected, he gave a job to his mate on 20-odd thousand pounds a year, etc., etc. And we had it nine, ten years ago about the MPs' expenses. A few bad eggs. Didn't you want that job as well, Ed? A few, a few bad eggs that, that, that abused their expenses. That's a yes, isn't it? You wanted that job. Got you? many, many members of the public to disrespect the politicians. There are many politicians who are there to serve the public, but I'm afraid there are some just there to serve themselves. Would you be saying the same things if you were police and crime commissioner? 
if I was Police and Crime Commissioner, you probably know on record I would have taken a cut in the salary and I would have argued for it to be abolished. Yeah, you in did fact, say like that. The Home Secretary, I would have called upon her the next day to abolish the post. It's bonkers, all of this, isn't it? Because you, you've got you, you've got you, Kip, standing to be mayor. He's he's threatened to sack himself if he wins. Please. You're saying if you'd have been Police and Crime Commissioner, you would have took a pay cut and sacked yourself. I mean, it, it's it's crazy politics, isn't it? We need local government that reflects the local needs and we need national government to do things like have an industrial strategy and look after the economy. Yes, it is a bit bonkers. It's like Venn diagrams that are running our services at the moment. You don't have a department, you don't have a director of house, and you don't have a director of social services. The ordinary public don't know who to phone up if they're trying to sort out their own care or the care for an elderly relative. We don't know who's responsible for what. Now, yeah, let's bring in Richard Taylor. He's a blogger on uh, local issues in Cambridge. Morning, Richard. Good morning, Paul. It, I mean, notwithstanding, it's very confusing, all of it. Even for me, we, it took us an hour to work it all out this morning and all the stats and the different polls and who said what to whom and where. Uh, and then you've got all these people standing for office who don't really want the office and want to get rid of it and they'll probably sack themselves. And, and then you've got the public not being listened to. It's an absolute mess, isn't it? Well, the way that I do devolution is empowering local councillors. If, if we're going to give power to local people, then, then let's give our local elected representatives more power. And that's not what we're, we're getting here. We're getting um, a fourth tier of local government. We're getting someone quite remote. We're getting transport powers... That's powers over our roads and buses and things going to um, people who are further away from us um, than they, they are at the moment. Now, we didn't have a referendum on whether we wanted um, a mayor for Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. So um, I don't think that we should treat consultation responses um, as if they are referendums. I see councillors doing this um, all the time. So you get a self-selected bunch or a, a poll um, group of people um, asked a question and councillors treat that as if it's the views of the people, mm, right. when, when, it, when it isn't. So when we've got consultations, we should be really just looking for the ideas in them and not trying to, um, to weigh up the responses as if it was a, a referendum. And they're picking and choosing facts and figures here, information, aren't they? Well, one thing is that our, our local councils have supported this. Our local councils have um, supported the idea of a mayor for Cambridge and Peter, and they've had the, the full information. They had lots of information on both polls and, and all the um, statistics. It's just the um, parliamentarians, the MPs and law, their explanatory memorandum missed out this um, th th this key figure. And I, I try not to spend the, or g give too much attention to the Lords. People like Earl Sandwich, or some ancient hereditary peer, um, sort of using a, sort of making our laws for us under a, under a rather silly if old false name. Um, I, I try not to take any notice of this kind of thing, but. Um, but ultimately, they had um, one of the final says before the um, b before the rules came out. But I did pay, pay some attention to what was happening in Cambridge. So Cambridge City Council supported this idea because they were given £70 million pounds for mm. um, new council housing. So they, I think, were, were bribed to support it. I don't think they want to see a mayor, but they've said yes to it um, on the basis of having some, 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 some more council mm. housing. And we've all been bribed a little bit, haven't we? You know, Peterborough, oh, you can have a nice, shiny new university. Oh, oh Cambridge, you can have some housing. Oh, Whiz Beach, you might get a rail link. There you go, have a mare. Well, that, that's exactly what, what's happened. And, and it is part, it, it's almost what was in the Conservative manifesto. So actually, we, we kind of decided to go down this route in, um, in 2015 in the general election when people voted Conservative. But they said, let's have mayors for big cities then. And what we've come up with is we'll be the first area like Cambridgeshire and Peterborough, a, a mix of rural and cities, to have one mayor. And I don't think that really makes a lot of sense. I think when you ask people what a mayor is, you think of someone with huge executive power, potentially the only person with any power in a small French town. You don't think about a, a large region like Cambridgeshire and Peterborough and, um, and having what we're going to have, which is essentially the chair of a committee of um, people who represent each of the councils. Mm. So uh, well, one reason the um, leader of Cambridge City Council has said that he's reluctantly supporting a mayor is that actually this isn't going to be someone with huge executive powers it's just going to be someone who convenes that committee and um, essentially it's our local councils getting together to approve things um, such as the um, a regional transport plan mm. which actually sounds okay it's just we've had to accept the conservative government so idea that, that we've got to call this chair chair of this committee a mayor now you could argue i mean i know you're pretty disparaging against the laws but you could argue that they're listening to the people they they found this omission they found this online poll where 59 percent of people said um they don't want a mayor uh, whereas our councillors have just dismissed it no our councillors had this information I I in front of them so um so, so the, the, the and dismissed it really gone ahead 
Well, that they've been. That they, well, I think the representative democracy is all about people who are. Um, none of us can really. Not listening, put, are they? None of us can put the time into to fully weighing up the arguments. And I, and I watched it in Cambridge City Council, and they've decided to go with some things that we really don't like. So, so some things that really aren't devolution that are um, taking powers away from local councillors, and, and that they've decided on balance. They, they've stood on a, a platform of one Cambridge fair for all. More council housing is the kind of thing that you get if you vote Labour, and they've decided to go with. To, to go with that, so I, I don't think there's been a. Um, I, I, I don't support a, um, the, 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 the new mayor. That my councillors don't, but I can see that I, I've been able to watch the process and see why reluctantly mm. they've, um, they've they've gone with it. And as you said, we've had these bribes and these these reasons um, for doing it. Um, around the county. Lord Lansley, remember him, uh, he, he was part of this debate. He says four tiers of local government is possibly two tiers too many. If we have a mayor, do we need a county council? Do we need a district council? Do we yeah. need a city council? Well, then that, that said in, in the debate, let's combine all these things. Let's combine Peterborough City Council and um, Cambridgeshire County Council and even some of the city deal. Let, let's make it um, one body. Like There's lots of calls in and around Cambridge for one council for, um, for Greater Cambridge. And another thing to remember is with this fourth tier, the mayor... Um, will have um, the ability to raise council tax. So it's not just going to be um, the salaries of the mayor and the more officers. We could actually have another line on our council tax bills to pay for this. Your thoughts this morning, 03459 25 2000. You heard from Ed Murphy, a Labour councillor in Peterborough, Richard Taylor, a blogger on local issues in Cambridge. Are we being listened to when it comes to having a mayor? Do we even want one? 59% of us on this online poll say no, we don't. Uh, Steve says, it's another job for the boys, this poll, set up by the Conservatives to milk us again. Only the Green candidate wants the mayor to be monitored. Uh, says Steve this morning. Christine Wadsley Cunningham says there's not one female even on the shadow Cambridgeshire and Peterborough combined authority. I don't see that changing any time soon. Or men. Uh, and Carol says, I completed the online poll poll. No mean feat. A city council site throws you out all day long. I voted against and the result sent to me was that the majority were against. I don't want to campaign or vote for a mayor as I'm very much against the role. Why was there not a vote by Cambridgeshire residents to see if they wanted to be hived off, says Carol this morning. Keep your comments coming in. 03459 25 2000. We're eight weeks away from the mayoral elections. But did we want one?